till now in Venn diagram uh, we have learned what is exactly Venn diagram what does it mean uh, and how to represent uh, set, set relations uh, into Venn diagram we learned and then we learned two types of the seats uh, uh, disjoint seats and the intersecting seats and after learning this all concept we are now ready to learn some operations of the seats and I'm going to start the first operation of seat that we say union all right okay so what is union suppose you have set A and set B so the union of A and B union of A and B we represent uh, by A cop B okay A cop B or you can say A union B we pronounce like this it's a cop sign right cop sign or symbol you can say we give to read uh, we, we, we read as a union or by cup also a cup b or you can say a union b all right so a union b represents you know uh, this a union b represents uh, a new elements it represents a set uh, having the elements which belongs to a or b or both again uh, union of a and b represents a new set having the elements which belongs to A or B or both. Finally, what I mean to say, all the elements of A and B combined, not repeating the elements, all right, that represents. So if any element is the member of uh, A union B, then that time, if X is representing here the elements of A union B, that time X belongs to uh, A or uh, belongs to, uh, X belongs to B. Or maybe both, all right. Keep in mind that. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, suppose here A is a set in which the elements are uh, apple, all right, orange, and banana. Okay, and now I have uh, instead of writing this A, what about writing fruit? Let me write this is fruit F fruit f this is the set of fruit f okay now uh, i'm writing here vegetables okay vegetables vegetables uh, representing v okay vegetables representing v uh, in vegetable let me suppose uh, i have cauliflower all right i have uh, mm, cabbage i have uh, ladyfinger Okay, so uh, one more elements I want to write here. Lady finger, and uh, let me give you a cucumber. No, not cucumber. Mm, vegetables. Uh, yeah, banana is also in our country. Uh, banana. From banana, we make a kind of curry also. So banana, the uh, the unripe banana is sometimes used as a vegetables also. <clears throat> so I'm making banana, the the not ripen, you know, the green banana is uh, used as a vegetables also so now see here uh, I have two set all right F uh, fruit set represented by F and vegetable set represented by V so if I'm saying what is a uh, like uh, F union uh, V this is V okay V representing vegetable this is cop sign representing union so F union V is representing how we how we write that uh, let me first uh, show you here. It is representing those elements which are found in or both. Finally, it means we write every elements of A and B but without repeating. So it means actually that should be found in uh, F also, that should be found in V also. Alright. So it, here it should be apple, orange, and then banana. Alright. And then cauliflower. And then cabbage, and then uh, ladyfinger, and you might be thinking then write banana, but not. We don't repeat the words, all right? So this is what uh, represents. Uh, you can say F union V means F here representing fruits, and V representing here uh, uh, vegetables, all right? So uh, I hope you understand what is uh, A union B. So in, in in the diagram, if you want to learn, all right? In a vein diagram, if you want to learn, then it is something like this. What is A union B? Uh, so let's first write. Uh, let's draw a rectangle and this is my u representing universal set all right and uh, here i'm going to draw 
F. F representing fruit. And one thing is common, banana is common in both. So this is the intersecting set, keep in mind. And to draw the intersecting set, I need to make some common person. All right, so I made a common person. This is representing vegetable. And I already shared that whenever you're going to start writing the points, uh, writing the elements or the members, they need to start from the middle section, from the intersecting point. So here intersecting is banana because banana is found in both. So here I'm writing banana. Banana is found in both, in fruit also and in vegetable also. Now, in fruit, what 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 are the elements are in fruit? Banana I have already mentioned. So I'm left with apple and orange. All right, I'm left with apple and orange. All right, and now uh, cauliflowers and all stuff. Let let's write in this section. Okay, so uh, cauliflower and then cabbage and then ladyfinger and banana is already mentioned here. So this is this is F uh, union V. All right. This is the picture or the diagram for the F union B. Here, banana is common in both. Keep in mind, this banana is common uh, in both. So, uh, let's, let, let me take one more example with the numbers. If you get confused, uh, if you did not get even properly, then suppose A is representing here the set uh, uh, having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and B is representing here. Say it uh, just odd numbers, uh, all right? One, three, five, seven, and nine. Now I have these two sets, and what I understand from A union B. So we have to understand from A union B that all the elements of A and B, okay? All the elements means every elements of A should be also there in A union B, and every elements of B should be also there in A union B, but not repeating. So I'm writing here one, I'm writing here two, uh, one, two, and then I'm writing here three. And then I'm writing this four, and then I'm writing five, all right, and I'm writing one because I'm already written here, so I'm not going to repeat that. And three, I've already repeated here, and then five, I have already here. Seven, I don't have, so I'll write seven. And I have nine here. That's it. This is A and B, all right. One more uh, time, let let me suppose A is representing another another example I'm giving. A is representing here. Suppose uh, A, B, C, D, E. F, all right, and uh, B is representing here. Uh, suppose A E I O U. So what do you understand from A union B? So from A union B, what I understand all the elements of A and B. Okay, that is A B C. I, I have written these all. Okay, and then D, and then E, and then F, and then uh, already I finished and then I will go for A but A is already mentioned here E that is already mentioned here I I have not mentioned so I'm going to write I and then O and then U this is what A union B alright and one more case I'm going to explain here suppose A is now my uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and B is 1 2 3 so how we will write the a union B. So in this case, if I'm writing A union B, what I will understand, uh, I'll, uh, what I will write, I'll write first all the elements of A, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then I'll write all the elements of B. But all the elements of B is already mentioned in A. All right. In, in figure, if you want to see, in the diagram, if you want to see, in Venn diagram, then it is something like this. You, okay. First, I will make a very big A. All right. Because all the elements of B is inside the A or that time what you can say that B is the subset of A 1 2 3 like see inside that I will make B B and this is A alright because this is small B subset is inside the big set A and again that big set is inside U alright we don't care what is our U now so first I will fill here now the elements of B that is 1, 2, and 3. And after that, I will fill the elements of A. So 1, 2, and 3 is already uh, covered. So what is left now? We are left with 4 and 5. So I'll write here 4 and here 5. So this is the representation of A union B when, when one set is completely the subset of another one or completely inside the another one. Sometimes A may be this, uh, A may be inside B or any kind of figure you will get. You know, you, you may get sometime like this, very simple. 
all right and you need to write all the elements of this this portion all the elements of this portion if this is a and b just keep in mind all right uh, in the first I, first time i need to i think i need to explain there here uh, so a union b what do you mean from a union b just in a one figure i just want to say if this is your uh, uh, union representing uh, sorry if it's your universal set then a union b from a union b i understand the all elements which are found in a right which are found in a region or in b region or both reason finally what do you mean means the every elements of a and b including right you have to write from a also and you have to write from b also but sometime just like in previous video you will get like this also uh, like you have a very big a and inside which you have b and uh, what you'll write that time that time all the elements of a all right sometime it may be like uh, this is your a all right and uh, your b is bigger that time all the elements of b all right or uh, sometime it may be like this you have a you have b independent a independent b so that time uh, what will your intersection? Your intersection will be complete A and complete B. All right. So so you write all the elements of A also, all the elements of B also. Here all the elements of A, all the elements of B. But you're not going to repeat. Here all the elements of A that and B will be automatically included. Here all the elements of B, all the elements of A automatically will be included. All right. So uh, uh, I hope you understand what is. Uh, what is uh, union operation mean? Union operation means just you need to write the elements of A and B completely, right? This uh, A union B here. If you if you see what is common, one is common, right? And then three is common, and then five is common. So this is representing uh, this type of Venn diagram. Uh, this type of Venn diagram here. Something is common. Some parts are common. This part was common. So this is representing this type of sex intersection. And then uh, after that, we had learned another type of intersection, which is completely uh, different. Like uh, uh, that is also the same type, completely different. I think we had learned. We haven't learned. Well, uh, suppose I'm giving here. If A is one, two, three, and if B is uh, B is uh, six, seven, then that time A union B. This is this is just like a, and here you write one, two, three, and here you write six, seven. So that time a union b will be the all the elements of a and b, right? One, two, three, six, seven. That's it, all right? And this example uh, I have already mentioned. One is completely inside the another one, all right? Uh, one more time, I'm giving. Suppose a is uh, one and two, and b is one two three four and five okay so that time what you write a union b will be complete of b that is one two three four five all right when you write b this completely when you write automatically a will be included because one and two is a very small section of b all right uh this is what union i hope uh, you understand what is union operation if there is any doubts or something then you can feel free to comment just below this video or you can go to our websites and you can ask the questions uh our website name i hope you understand it's myacademy.com and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and you can give me the feedbacks how you are feeling all right catch you in the next video goodbye and in next section we'll be learning intersection what is meaning of intersection okay goodbye